Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 22nd, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. The weather in the morning wasn't very promising. A few of us went out early hoping for some non-raptor movement, but there was hardly any morning flight to speak of. It was kind of a thick overcast, very dark sky, and the winds were moderate to strong out of the west, and it was a pretty chilly morning, all things considered. There was just the tiniest amount of south in the wind to keep us at the north lookout, and we started to see some raptors. Here we have an immature bald eagle. Here we have a large corvid with a very large beak and a diamond-shaped tail. This is a common raven, and we had a good flight of common ravens with eight of them in a short time in the morning. Here we have a very lanky raptor with a long tail and long pointed wings. It has a very distinctive plumage where it's white overall with a gray head and black wingtips and a black trailing edge to the secondaries. This is an adult male northern harrier. Here's the top side of that same northern harrier. You can see the white rump and you can see where they get the name gray ghost. Here we have a large white wading bird with long trailing legs and a long pointed yellow bill. This is a great egret. Here we have another water bird. This one has very long skinny wings. We see trailing feet and we see a black head with a long pointed bill. This is a common loon. Here we have a large lanky black and white raptor with a line through the eye. This is an osprey. Here we have a small raptor with rounded wingtips and a long tail. This is a small hawk. This is a sharp shinned hawk. Here we have another hawk where we see that flying cross kind of shape. We see the rounded wingtips and long tail. And we see teardrop streaking concentrated on the upper breast. So as far as I can tell, this is a Cooper's hawk, although this one's a little bit strange looking in that the head looks very small and overall the body looks very plump. So I don't know if it was just the angle of the photo, but a little bit of an unusual looking juvenile Cooper's hawk. We had a flock of small gray and white birds fly by with very pointed wings and long forked tails. These are common terns, our first of the season. Here we have a Budeo with long, somewhat pointed wings, and we see a black and white plumage overall. This is a rough-legged hawk. Here we have another Budeo. We see a relatively long tail on this bird, and we see translucent crescents near the wingtips. This is a red-shouldered hawk. And as we reached mid-morning, we began to see larger and larger groups of broad-winged hawks, although some of them were overhead, but a lot of them were more in towards the south lookout. So that's when we started considering that maybe it was time to move down there. From the north lookout, we had 55 species. At 11.30 a.m., we made the switch down to the south lookout, and you can see the sun was rapidly coming out, and the winds remained from the west-northwest at a moderate speed and felt chilly, but we really had a good flight of raptors once we got down there. We had a huge flight of broad-winged hawks with large groups of them circling up and then gliding overhead. Sometimes we had multiple flight lines, and overall the flight line was relatively high, and I was busy counting them, so I wasn't able to get as many photos and videos as I would have liked to to document such a good flight. But the one hour, we had over 3,000 broadwings. Then the next hour, we had just under 3,000. Then the next hour, around 1,000. And then after that, only a few hundred. And then as the skies became sunny in the mid-afternoon, this the flight just suddenly stopped. And we saw very few broadwings at all after that. So I don't know if it was just a change in the weather or if we just ran out of birds. But for a couple hours there, it was a really spectacular flight of broadwings. And it was a little more spaced out than that huge flight that we had the other day when we had you know, over 15,000 come through in a single hour. So this was more manageable to count and especially to get an accurate count. You could actually count all of these groups one by one. And it was kind of fun trying to spot all of the groups up high overhead. Here we have a large tan bird with long trailing legs and a long straight neck. This is one of four sandhill cranes that we saw today. Here's an adult bald eagle that gave us a close look. We saw that unusual bird earlier, but this is a much more typical look of what I expect from a juvenile Cooper's hawk. And here's an adult Cooper's hawk that gave us a nice look too. Notice the orange barring underneath on the adults. And we had a nice push of turkey vultures today, and they kept going until late in the day when everything else had slowed down. We had nearly 400 for the day. And here's the group at the south lookout after a big broad-winged hawk flight. When I got back to the cottage, this golden-crowned kinglet was just sitting up in a tree, and you don't often find kinglets just sitting still, so I took the opportunity to take some photos and video. From the south lookout, we had 44 species. 
We had one new species for the season today, which was common tern, bringing us to a total of 129 species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 371 turkey vultures, 10 ospreys. It was the biggest bald eagle day of the season so far with 38. We had 23 northern harriers, 120 sharp-shinned hawks, and 3 cooper's hawks. We had 2 red-shouldered hawks, 7,475 broad-winged hawks, 32 red-tailed hawks, and 1 rough-legged hawk. We had 1 golden eagle. And for falcons, we had 8 American kestrels and 2 merlins for a total of 8,086 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 48,484 and the season total to 66,787. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking mainly sunny with the high in the mid 50s and light west northwest winds. We'll be down at the south lookout and I would expect moderate migration. Hopefully, we have some more broad winged hawks left after the big day today. For Thursday, it's looking partly cloudy with a high around 70, winds south-southwest shifting northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, so it's a good southerly wind direction in the morning, but fairly light, and it's looking like that wind shift will probably be a lake breeze kicking in in the afternoon, so we may end up having to go down to the south lookout, but southerly winds and nice warm temperatures, hopefully we'll get a decent flight for Thursday morning at least, and maybe uh, from the south lookout in the afternoon as well. We'll keep an eye on it tomorrow. And for Friday, it's looking mostly cloudy with a high up around 70 again and southerly winds fairly light again, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we'll see if a lake breeze kicks in on that day as well. But uh, hopefully we'll get some birds moving on the southerly winds for Thursday and Friday. All right, another great day of hawk watching. And as miserable as the conditions seemed in the early morning, it really cleared up nicely. And we had an unexpectedly huge flight of broad winged hawks. So... That's the kind of thing that can happen here at Derby Hill during the peak migration time. So I hope you can come out and visit us soon. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.